There came a point in Latoya Luckett's life where she was tired of waiting for the perfect man. After a 10-year relationship that went nowhere and a quickie marriage and divorce, she knew she needed to practice self-love and be patient. She told Essence she threw out her list of qualities she wanted in a partner and decided to allow life to unfold on its own. Just a few months later, she met a man that would sweep her off her feet. Here's the truth about her dating history. When Destiny's Child went on tour with Jagged Edge, LaToya began a secret relationship with singer Brian Casey, while her Destiny's Child groupmate Latavia Robertson started dating Brian's twin brother, Brandon. After LaToya's time with Destiny's Child came to an end, she and Latavia moved to Atlanta and created a new group called Angel. With some help from their boyfriends and the rest of the members of Jagged Edge, Angel recorded a demo. However, the group fell apart and so did LaToya's relationship with Brian. Her move to Atlanta also coincided with another high-profile relationship. LaToya revealed that she had a brief relationship with the rapper T.I. Despite their past romance, LaToya and T.I.'s wife, Tiny Harris, are close friends. LaToya also appears as a cast member on their reality show, T.I. and Tiny Friends and Family Hustle. During the early 2000s, she also began an on-again, off-again relationship with Houston rapper Slim Thug. Not only did they collaborate on music together, but she told Rolling Out magazine that their hot and cold relationship lasted for a total of 10 years. As for the reason behind their last and final breakup, Slim Thug announced on Formspring that he cheated on her and had a baby with another woman. He added, it all went down from there. In 2007, NBA player Deshaun Stevenson confirmed that after inviting LaToya to a birthday party, they hit it off and became an item. He even told the Washington Post that he performed much better on the court when LaToya was in the stands. Not everyone supported their relationship because of Deshaun's reputation. Six years prior to his relationship with LaToya, Deshaun, who was 20 at the time, was charged with engaging in an act with a 14-year-old girl. In 2002, he pleaded no contest and was sentenced to two years of probation and was ordered to pay $1,100 in fines, according to the Orlando Sentinel. The YBF reported LaToya and Deshaun got engaged, but nine months after going public with their romance, it all came to an end. Deshaun was accused of cheating on her, and things came to a head when he hopped on his MySpace account and offered $10,000 to the first person who could get him Lindsay Lohan's contact information. Next came the rumors that LaToya was dating baseball player Matt Kemp and professional basketball player Kevin Durant. In 2013, she told Style Magazine she was just looking for the right relationship and she didn't mind waiting until she met the perfect person. She also expressed her concerns over modern technology. She told the publication that texting and social media took the joy out of really getting to know someone. She preferred to communicate over the phone, but she found most men weren't comfortable with picking up the phone to chat. In 2015, her fans were blindsided when it was announced she was engaged to relationship coach Rob Hillman Sr. after a year of dating. LaToya later revealed that during the same year of their engagement, she got pregnant. Sadly, she lost the baby and her relationship with Rob soon crumbled. In January 2016, Rob was in Virginia at the Mount Lebanon Baptist Church, where LaToya also performed a few songs. Rob hopped on the mic and announced he and LaToya were engaged. But just a few months later, he announced their engagement was off and the wedding was canceled. Rob told the Fam in the Morning radio show, there are certain things she needs to do for herself and there are certain things I need to do. But TMZ found out Rob wasn't telling the full story. The gossip website revealed the couple secretly got married in January 2016, only for them to file for divorce two months later. In the divorce documents, there was a clause that prohibited either of them from making public statements or social media posts about one another. But LaToya finally shared her side of the story during an interview with The Breakfast Club. She said they really loved each other, but things didn't turn out the way they expected. In the end, she still wished him the best. The end of that relationship prompted LaToya to make some changes in her life. She told Essence that she was getting out of the driver's seat and handing it all over to God. 
While appearing on OWN's The Book of John Gray, LaToya opened up to Pastor Gray about her struggles with staying open to love after her failed relationship. She had an intense desire to find the right partner and start a family because she was sick of going through life on her own. Pastor Gray told her it was her season to meet her husband, and he was right. Just a few months later, LaToya attended a friend's wedding. While there, she struck up a conversation with her friend, designer Nikki Chu. LaToya shared how she had been praying for a good man to enter her life, and Nikki suggested she meet her boyfriend's brother, Tomicus Walker. Nikki was convinced LaToya and Tommy would be a good fit, and after hearing about his positive qualities, LaToya was intrigued. She gave Nikki the okay to give Tommy her phone number, but on one condition. She told Nikki not to mention her full name or anything about her. LaToya wanted to be sure that he was interested in her for who she was, not for her celebrity status. Tommy had been married for eight years and shared a daughter with his ex-wife. When his marriage ended, he told exo Nicole he decided to take a step back. He fasted from dating, refrained from intimacy, spent less time around women, and began the journey of clearing his soul. Tommy said he put all of his focus on his daughter Madison and running his business, Walker Enterprise, out of Dallas, Texas. He never thought he would get married again, and he didn't want to have more children. He just didn't want to put himself in a situation where he would be left heartbroken once again. But when he called LaToya the day after Nikki Chu gave him her number, his mind changed. The Texas natives hit it off immediately. He said that at first, LaToya felt like one of his homegirls because she was, quote, country as hell. But once they started praying together and having a spiritual connection, everything shifted and his fears melted away. They spent the next few weeks talking and getting to know each other. They read the Bible together, and even though LaToya was living in Los Angeles, they both agreed they wanted to settle down and start a family in Texas. LaToya told Exo Nicole that everything felt right. It was the first time she had put communication before getting physical with someone. But Tommy still had no idea what she looked like, and he didn't even know her full name. He simply referred to her as Toya. Things were moving quickly, and after a month of talking on the phone, Tommy and his daughter flew out to Los Angeles to meet LaToya in person. Their first date was at a restaurant, and he still had no idea who she was. LaToya told Essence Magazine Ludacris' wife, Edoxy Bridges, called her on FaceTime, and Tommy overheard her ask LaToya, does he know who you are now? That's when the singer decided to reveal her true identity. Tommy responded, LaToya from Destiny's Child? Man, I had a crush on you in high school, dog." Tommy also made it clear to her that her celebrity status didn't mean anything to him. After a successful first date, LaToya and a friend took Tommy and his daughter to Disneyland for date number two. LaToya told Essence that by that point, she had fallen for him. And by date number three, Tommy said he knew he was staring into the eyes of his future wife. In August 2017, LaToya thought she was working with Nikki Chu to plan a surprise birthday party for Tommy. But while there, he got down on one knee and asked her to be his wife. In December 2017, they tied the knot during an evening ceremony at a sprawling mansion in Austin, Texas, with Pastor John as the officiator. Less than a year after saying I do, Tommy's daughter announced LaToya's pregnancy in a sweet Instagram video. And while her fans were thrilled, the excitement wore off after a troubling episode of T.I. and Tiny Friends and Family Hustle, where doctors thought she might go into preterm labor. Tommy had to leave to take care of his daughter Madison, so LaToya was left alone. Due to her previous miscarriage, she experienced intense anxiety over the health scare and she wanted her husband to be by her side. She also came to the realization that getting pregnant so soon after tying the knot was overwhelming, especially since she and Tommy were still getting to know each other. The issues in their marriage seemed to fade away in January 2019 when they welcomed their daughter Gianna Iman into the world. And navigating their lives as a blended family has gone smoothly for the couple. LaToya told Essence that she sat down with Tommy's ex-wife and her new husband to talk about their blended family goals. I realized how important that is, and, and I realized that, you know, talking and, and making yes. sure y'all on the same page yes. with everything yes. is important. But LaToya is the first to admit she still has baggage from her previous relationships. She told Exo Nicole that after disagreements with Tommy, it triggers certain thoughts where she starts to think that their marriage is over. 
she and her husband are working together to battle her negative thoughts. Tommy is determined to never go through another divorce, so he has taken the time to learn LaToya's love language through spending time together, communicating, and telling her how beautiful she is each and every day. We're so happy LaToya has finally found the man of her dreams, and we wish her and Tommy the best. Let us know your thoughts on their love story, and thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.